So, you said to your lovely wife, Diana, yeah. you're overweight. Lose some well, weight. I think there comes a point in, in every relationship where it's like, you know, does my bum look big in this? And you, you sort of press the pause button mentally and you think, well, actually, I think yes, mm. but I'm going to maintain, you know, peace and civility. So you kind of lie. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, what happened in my particular instance was that um, Diana had a child and she had the sort of baby weight and it was really getting her down. And she was telling me all the time that she was depressed, you know, she was changing her, her outfits, you know, she was buying bigger mm -hmm. clothes and our, our love life sort of suffered. And this was an issue for her. And so when she kept saying to me, do I need to lose weight? I thought, do you know what, I'm going to say yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was coming up to New Year. So what we decided to do was kind of tell each, we had this open session what do you think? I, we, we swapped resolutions. So yeah. I gave her some resolutions and she gave me Ooh, some. Oh, that's <laughs> always a Hush. dangerous game to well, play. Well, I think, that, I think that's very reasonable. I'm amazed he got that far. You, <laughs> you would have, I would have lost you at you need to do something. So what is wrong with what he did? I think obviously communication is so important in a relationship but you have to make sure that what you're saying is heard in the way that you intend it to be heard. So when a man says to his wife, even if she's prodding him and asking, oh, am I fat, am I overweight, does my bum look big? If you say, you know what, it does, then she hears not, oh, he cares about my health. She hears he's not attracted to me, he doesn't want to have sex with me. that's not really the man's fault, though, isn't it? I it's mean, that's when you, when you say it like that, that just sounds yeah. like our insecurity. And mm. I do think yeah. women, you know, men are in a kind of between a rock and a hard place because we ask them all the time. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. I think women are so emotionally complex. It can be really, really rocky ground, whatever you say. But I think it is good to just be aware that your delivery is the key, not necessarily what you're saying. So it's oh, you know, do you really feel like that? I don't want you to feel like that. I want you to feel amazing, because I think you look amazing. So maybe we could, uh, you know, I've been thinking I could be a bit healthier. Maybe we could... I think that's just all shrouded, though, in kind of sort of, you know, sort of sugar-coated sort of deceit. It's basically, if, if a message needs to be made, then why isn't there more honesty? I mean, it, it worked for me. I mean, she told me that I was boring, you know, <laughs> um, I was becoming her dad. You know, I was falling asleep on the sofa, so it, it became like open season. Yeah. So did you know, that hurt? Um, hopefully we've got Diana was, on... Or was that true? It was true. We're okay. going to talk mm. to Diana, I hope, that's the, that's the we're, point. we're trying to get her on the phone. But when she said... So when you said to her you're overweight, mm. it sounds very hurtful, for, you know, even though she'd asked you. Yeah, it, so it, it, when it, she then said to you, you know, let's do this list, and she said, well, you're boring, you're turning into my dad, yeah. you know. Um, did that hurt It you? did hurt, yeah, yeah. But then I thought, well, what right have I got to be hurt? Because this is about openness. And what we did um, with, with her weight, we, we kind of did it together. You know, we sort of went to the gym together, yeah. we, we did healthy eating together, and it got both of us in shape, and it filtered through every part of our relationship.